Brand new tonight, this absolutely disturbing video showing a Las Vegas Uber driver brutally attacked by her passengers. She says she hasn't gotten many answers from police yet, but the company looks to be stepping up. Good evening, everyone. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Jim Snyder. And I'm Marie Mortera. Our Brett Forrest joining us here in studio with what happened after he called Uber tonight. Yeah, Jim Marie, I do have to warn viewers right now that this video may be disturbing to some of you. The driver is recovering from her injuries tonight, but she feels like nobody cares about her situation. She wants help and she wants some justice. Please check the seat. A routine Uber drop off turning into a brutal attack. Several of the passengers begin punching and attacking the driver, Victoria Partridge. The attack lasting around 30 seconds, but for Victoria, feeling like an hour. I started thinking that I'm going to die. And when they left, I was just praying, God, thank God I'm alive. She's been a driver for over a year with over 4,000 rides. This one starting out as a pickup on Fremont Street. When she saw there were seven people, she told them she couldn't take them since she only has six seatbelts. They're like, we're not leaving. We need, we need to get to our destination point. You're our last chance. Please, please, please. After several minutes of arguing and opening and closing the doors, Victoria says she gave up and she took the seven women. And what happens next, she's thankful she has on video. <laughs> And she started beating me up from this side. Another girl went out, opened my driver door, and she started beating me from that side. She says the attackers also threw her phone, stole money out of her tip jar, and dented the side of her car. She filed a police report and contacted Uber as soon as she got home. I don't know how long it will take and if we're going to get anything for this. I don't know. I'm so frustrated. She filed the Metro Police report on Sunday. Three days later, she hasn't heard anything. So I called them and they said she could be proactive and reach back out herself. As of now, they still haven't even taken her video evidence. I didn't go to the hospital because I have no insurance. I was afraid. I didn't know if the Uber is going to cover it or not, because if they're not going to cover, I don't know how bill is going to be. Now, a little positive news here. While reporting, I reached out to Uber myself asking what they're going to do. And Victoria tells me Uber finally contacted her tonight after my call saying they'll cover 100% of the car repairs and deposit a $5,000 donation to her account. Also saying they'll help the police investigation any way they can. Hi, everybody. I'm Reed Cowan from News 3 Las Vegas. We want to thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Remember, you can always see more of our videos by clicking on the video links. And also don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our YouTube updates. Thanks for watching.